seems like it was yesterday, but we're just a couple of weeks away from the 19th anniversary of those mysterious Phoenix lights. Can you believe that? Mass UFO sighting over Phoenix happened back on March 13th, 1997. So it's always a popular subject for conspiracy theorists and non-believers who say the lights were just flares. Well, now the Phoenix lights, the basis for a movie called The Phoenix Incident. In 1997, you took part in one of the largest military cover-ups in United States history. That's correct. This is a clip from the movie The Phoenix Incident, a fictional what-if account of the Phoenix Lights, as in what if UFOs were shot down by Air Force fighters? The occupants of a downed UFO take out their misfortune on four desert ATVers in a sequence shot locally at South Mountain Park near the Australia Mountains. Growing up in the desert, seeing things at night was a common occurrence. Tucson-born Keith Aram directed The Phoenix Incident. He's seen a UFO in the skies over Arizona before. There was a craft that we saw for about an hour, and it just, it's just up in the sky. Aram spent years in the music industry and directed some of the most popular video games ever made. We've done about 600 video games. The Phoenix Incident is Aram's first feature film, an independent production that cost $1.3 million. Not only did we shoot a motion picture, but we shot an additional two hours of material and created this whole viral campaign that uh, half of the movie exists outside of the theater walls. Aram screened his film at the UFO Congress convention last week in Fountain Hills. They've been here before. That was in Mosaka, Roswell, those were recon missions. The Phoenix was different. The film drew mixed reviews, mostly along age lines. It was definitely made for a younger crowd, so I appreciated it. I didn't like it. Uh, I was um, disappointed with the violence. Honestly, it got me interested in the lights. And teaching our children this sort of profanity is not necessary at all. In 19 years, there has not been one, not one report of harm, threat, or abduction associated with the Phoenix Lights phenomenon. Paradise Valley physician Dr. Lynn Keita, author of The Phoenix Lights, hopes the movie will encourage others to learn more. Hopefully, there will be people that are piqued and inspired by, oh, what is the Phoenix Lights, and actually look at the real credible data. And that's what I'm hoping for. Hi, and what many are the largest UFO sighting in North America. Keith Aram hopes to say. I hope this this opens people's minds to really make a decision for themselves and to question what they've seen and what they've read and explore the facts. That's the big message behind our film is to really explore and, and decide what they think happened that night. The Phoenix incident opens in a limited theatrical release on March 10th and goes nationwide April 8th. That's kind of cool. Keith Aram explains how the online portion of his movie works on our Facebook page. That's facebook.com slash Fox 10 Phoenix. We have links to the movie trailer and our website, also this story. So fox10phoenix.com if you want to check all that stuff out.